Legend of Total War here with part 111 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Pure Hearted Crusader States Let's Play campaign. Previously we've been sort of smashing our heads up against the bloody, um, the Aragonese defensive position, sort of hard nut to crack, but um, despite the fact we lost a few battles uh, trying to get in there, that nut is looking very much cracked. They have barely got anything left to fight us with. But the whole situation is just a big mess. I'm basically just throwing armies of crappy units at the enemy. Let's see, if I sent you in. He's got four men left. We've got the king. If we killed him, they'd probably end the faction, which means they'd turn them all rebel. So maybe we should, um... Maybe it's time to actually assault Bordeaux itself. Stop dilly-dallying around. And I think you should do it. I'm going to take the archers out of the out of the um, the army because I don't feel like I need them straight away. And you take them out. Just, just come stand over here. You besiege it. So okay, I'm going to bring you in with four loads of. Trebuchet. Okay, we'll have as many of my armies as I can besiege the settlement. Yeah, sure, bring in six artillery. Why not? Let's <laughs> get rid of you now. Nothing can stand in our Okay, way. now he'll come in to assist, but just to be certain. We okay, no, I can't move them. Alright, you come down here and attack. Attack him. Moving to engage the enemy. Good. Of course, I have to release them. <laughs> We're bringing <laughs> armies in. It's working. Is there anyone else? That, okay, you can make it over here. Come and attack this loser right here. Glory to Montrois. We attack. God She's not going to show up to the fight. Neither is he. Okay then. We could probably auto resolve this, but I'm not going to. And now, despite the fact that we lost two battles, we paved the way for what will be now a great victory. I am going to put everyone on AI reinforcements. Because Bring I just want this to be a bloodbath. Bring your honor as we attack. So here's what here's the plan. We open up the walls, send in the allies to go fight and die, whatever, as long as they don't get the generals killed. We really can't lose this fight. I mean I could probably do it just with this army here. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, obviously they'll need to be close to me. Maybe I should have given them some artillery of them of their own. Mm, this is the only place I can charge in from, but this is not the best place to start. I'd rather attack from over here. Well, there's nothing stopping me from mo just moving over there, I guess. Enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Okay, thing to note, you, you'll be dealing with them. Okay, I also need to reorganize this army. Cavalry first. Plenty of cav. And we're organized. Very good. So I just want to bring the cavalry a little bit more over here. Start, start smashing the walls. Most of those guys are over here. They're getting shot at all. No, we're all good. Okay, you start coming in over here. Because this is where we're going to attack from. So position yourself here. You. 
you also need to position yourself here as well. You, no. You. Where are they? Deal with them. Fine, I'll put you on aggressive stance. Let's go deal with them. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get up close and personal so that we... We don't want to waste our ammunition. I mean, we've got heaps, but if we run out, then that's it. I'm thinking breaking through here will do. Just waiting for them to get into position. They need to get up fairly close. Or else they're going to be inaccurate. I mean, we do know that we only really need two. So I bought three times as many as we need. Okay, they're engaging them here now. Yeah, that's it. Send the general in first, morons. I bet they get him killed. This is close enough. Good, they'll smash through the, the wall there quite quickly. I've already killed. 40% of their total forces, we've lost nothing. How much did he lose? He's 13 minutes, so it's actually been going quite well there. He must have captured them or something, because that's, that's unusually well done. Would have been nice to use some cannons, they would have broken through this a lot faster. But I'm not waiting around another 10 turns before they're available. Save it for the Timurids, I guess. I mean, you can criticize me all you like, but using a pure hearted campaign um, strategy, I've managed to conquer the entire world before gunpowder was even available, as in cannons without ever declaring war on anyone. Obviously, if I was let to do whatever I want, I could have done this a lot faster. Because I would have been executing left, right, and center. I would have been declaring war whenever I felt like it. I would have been the total bastard that I usually am. I would have crushed everyone. Excellent! We have breached our enemy's walls. All right. What's waiting for us inside here? So there's a unit here. Where is it? It's a unit of no one, nobody's. Don't worry about him. What are you guys up to? Okay, I'm gonna get them to get off that crap. Get your asses over here. Doesn't matter if they take casualties. Yeah, I want you guys to come in. Aim for this here. Because 
Because we need to break into the second layer of defense. Once we've broken into this one, that one will be actually... Uh, if we position ourselves here, we should be fine. I'm not going to bother with gates. I'm just going to go for the walls. I've got plenty of ammunition. Might, oh, hang on. Used up quite a bit already. That nah, would be fine. I've used up about a quarter. Maybe a little bit less than a quarter, actually. So, no, we're fine. So who's fighting? What's going on over here? Are you even doing anything? I should actually put them all on attack. I wonder what it would have been like, roles reversed, if I had only one region and Aragon had all of them. Would I be able to last as long as they did? Probably not, actually. I mean, wouldn't have lasted much longer. If they were being this aggressive. Certainly would not have, excuse me, have ransomed off all of those, uh, uh not ransomed, yeah, they did, ransomed off all those armies, would have just executed them. Fighting my artillery, if you would. They haven't got enough the artillery yet, so that's good. Just ignore them. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, good. No harm done. Need to get ourselves over here. I'm not really defending this area very well. Again, not really my problem. I've got to be careful not to destroy my own artillery as well. So it might be wise just to shoot using just a couple of them at a time. Because they are known to shoot each other. Yeah, everyone, everyone stop. Stop, stop. So you go first, over here knock this wall down. And you might as well fucking hurry quickly because we got company. Alright, fuck it. Everyone's going to have to shoot. We need this wall down right now. Because if these, if these start sending blister fire over here, we're going to be in big trouble. trouble if we don't fucking deal with this right now. We have captured the enemy's walls. Good thing we've got a lot of artillery. And they seem to be for the most part missing. Where the hell are you? Why aren't you shooting? Guess you can't get a good oh hang on now there you go. Okay we just lost one. I have a feeling I maybe. Wait, did I lose one? Oh, this was still active. Oh, I haven't lost any artillery yet. I thought I did. Yep, there we did. Okay, we've almost broken through there. That will won't have lowered our ammunition. It just lowers our firing rate. If they get rid of the other one, then we've, we've lost ammunition. 
We're still good. Even if we lose that one, we're still good enough to get through. As that ball's down, I need you to charge in there as fast as you can, because these towers are not going to stop shooting. Excellent. Here we, go. we have breached our enemy's walls. All right. What I think we need to do is actually draw them away from, from here. So forget about fighting them here. Try and fight them here. You guys can stop firing now. So I'm going to try and draw them away from, from this. Okay, I've only lost one out of 12 trebuchets. So we're still good. So what's this unit here? Urban Spear Militia. Okay. Where's he? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're ages away. I wanted to get them up on the wall here. Kill these guys. Maybe you'll... Where are you? Okay, you're at the fight. Get over here. Get up on the walls. Oh no, they're already down. Okay, good. But kill them anyway. Stop these towers from shooting. If they had any sense, they'd try and keep that going as long as they could. I also did want to attach, no, sorry, detach the artillery because it might be difficult putting the back on because it's so congested in this area. It's not often that these knights actually find a, a, an opponent that they can actually beat. They should be able, be able to crush them. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good. Just one more layer of the defense to go. Let's start moving in. They're winning. That tower's not being used. These guys are making their way up. Everything's looking good. We've only lost 2% of our forces. We break through another layer of defense. They're finished. I built up a massive empire. If, if this huge army that we've got right here is nothing to me. This is nothing of our forces. I wonder if all of my forces throughout my entire empire conversion to one spot, how many soldiers would that be? be hundreds of thousands. And I could, I could afford three times the size. Four, five, maybe even ten times the amount of armies that I've currently got. It's all thanks to all those guilds, because we, we're an empire of absolutely zero corruption. Thanks to all the Master Thieves guilds and all the Master Merchants guild just flourish trade so much, it's almost ridiculous. There's no point putting this on double speed many men on the field. And look, even with these ballista towers shooting, they, they could shoot there all day. They're not going to kill enough of us.
right. Let's start shooting it now. So turn around, shoot. bring the general in. Although he might get killed. I don't even care. I'll go bash through this very quickly. Oh, shot my own unit there. I don't even care. Actually, that's one of my good units. Oh. Come on, just a little bit more and then we're in. And then we don't even need the trebuchets anymore. Trebuchet's burnt at all. No, everything's fine. Excellent! We have breached our enemy's walls. In you go. You put that down now. And you guys, you might as well try and destroy some of this. Who knows, I might save one or two lives. Or might actually get my, my own guys killed. Oh, what a general's bodyguard doing in the fight here. There's no need for it. Doesn't matter. We don't need any of these guys anymore. Very much can't do it, there's no point damaging it. Remain true and steadfast. Victory will be ours. And what is that? Enemy general fallen? Good. Martin. De Kavadonga. Great name. Alright, um, well he's dead now. No one's going to remember him. Got a bit of a bottleneck situation here. Everyone... Holy crap. Everyone's stuck. I might actually stop you guys from shooting because... If we accidentally hit this right here, that would be disastrous. I don't know why they're so stuck. It's good. Only thirteen percent of them left to go. Oh, these never built. 
Now we will see if his Ooh, men man, will hold us. in the face of this calamity. The thing is, they don't have that much ammunition. They're not going to be able to kill us all. Cause a rat of the fucking pikes. Just this gets. Someone needs to stop them from shooting. Get over there and, and stop them. No, not you. You. Oh, they chose a good place to shoot. No doubt about that. But they're not going to have enough ammunition, dude. Our noble allies have oh, lost God. their leader. With their ship to gone, they may lose heart and flee. Jeez, these guys are raping us here. But we have so many men that they just don't have enough ammunition to kill us all. Because I've left reserves behind as well. The problem is we've got such a bottleneck going on, I can't tell my guys to charge in at them. But they're, they're, they're running out of ammunition before too long. It's just annoying that of course my allies always send in their generals first and they got skewed. Oh, God damn it. How many generals are we going to lose? Will hold in the face of this calamity. Maybe I should have told them to stand back. But again, it doesn't matter. I don't need these guys anymore. Everything was going great until we fucking got to these. Holy crap. They're all running away. Mass fucking rout. Oh, man, this, this is... Absolutely disgusting. It doesn't matter though. If the battle was was um, less, well, less in, unstoppable, I would have not set so many units in all the same time. But since it doesn't matter, I did. They're out of ammo. They can't do that again. They've played their little trick. It cost us fifteen percent of our armies. It doesn't matter. Essentially, I'll be disbanding all these armies after this anyway, so you've done nothing to me. Ah, man, just push through them and get over here. This battle should be done by now. Let's stop fighting these losers. Come on. Why don't they 
kill those guys. I don't know why they block me from so much. Why are these guys dragging their heels so much? I hate AI reinforcements. Pathetic. We have lost control of the castle. Make up your mind. I can only really, really rely on my own trips. I think, I think one of these generals is still alive. Seigneur, our men are in command of the castle. The, the battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours! Alright, their king's dead. And they've got to spend nothing left. No cavalry, it's like one man, they're all dead. And it's finally over. Men of great virtue and valor. So if we have a look here, the battle was technically... Dis look at how many they killed of our troops. But, it doesn't matter. Because they all just get disbanded anyway, and it's our own allies' fault anyway. They're the ones that mostly got killed. Preparing a trap for the enemy. So three generals died. All three ally AI generals. Doesn't matter. Seigneur, we have claimed this day. Faction destroyed. Kingdom of Aragon. We have well then, what do we do now? There really isn't anything we can do. We wait for the the um, the Timurids to show up. That's all we can do. I don't know how many turns it's going to be, but um, I guess we'll find out. So there's no point in me recording any more episodes until um, until they actually show up. So what I'm going to do here is just in my own time, just go around, just play at my own pace or whatever, build cities up. Um, build armies, put them in forts around here, so that when they show up, basically give them a good old nice fight before crushing them. Then we'll take this settlement here once the uh, once the um, once the Timurids are sorely defeated, and then that's the end of the campaign. But anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 112 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.